I think this is a brilliant idea. Where are you going to be marketing for the customers? Is it like Facebook ads? Is it Google? Is it How do the calls come in? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, that? yeah. Okay. It's it's SEO, Facebook ads, um, PPC, SEO. whatever. The reason What's why that? SEO? Yeah, it's SEO <laughs> through what? It's yeah. SEO through um, basically <laughs> social blasts, all kinds of things. Oh, okay. I mean, you're 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 competing with roofers in SEO. Yeah. That that don't know, you know. Not roofers. Uh, I think it's brilliant. <laughs> roofers. <laughs> where the keyboard is. It's not a problem to get the calls coming in, and I, and I, like I said, I have basically a partnership with one of um, the largest syndicates doing this right now, and so. But but the yeah. thing is, how would you allocate the job? So let's say someone with roof it was on fire or whatever, right? Yeah. You've got four contractors doing the exact same thing, exact same area. No, 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 okay. They, they sign up, okay, I go to you, okay? You're sold on my services, whatever, you're gonna sign up. The deal between us is that you're gonna pay for a block of calls, you're gonna pay for performance. These calls come in, you don't pay. And then that's the first level. After that, I'll get you on a contract in a few months once you see this work, blah, blah. Who takes, do you just run the calls to me? Yeah, 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 exactly. See, this number, you go to this website, you'll get one phone number. That those calls, you'll be one of the contractors getting those calls. If you want all the calls that are coming in, if you can handle two hundred calls a month, then that's fine. If you got the budget for it. But if you don't, then I'm going to sell different calls to another contractor. But you never share a call or a lead with any other contractor. So they're coming to you, and you close them. That's your lead, and they're coming to you when they want to buy. As soon as they call, call. straight through. Yep, straight through to you. Exactly. And how do you follow up? Follow up. That follow up. That who who uh, called uh, your call center? Yeah. And how do you know whether whether it's a business or not? So what happened with that call? Oh, how do you qualify the calls? Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, I've got a team of uh, 30 people. Crack. <laughs> Crack. Uh, listening to the call, screening the call. So the other thing is, you wouldn't pay for any spam, or you would you would only pay for a qualified lead. With a legitimate intent to buy. Okay, so the your customer will pay the roofer will pay uh, for the amount of calls. Uh, qualified not, calls. Qualified. They calls. may get twelve, okay. but they'll only pay. In so it's not a success fee. So it's, it's yeah, it, it essentially yeah. It's not. It is. No, it, it is a success fee. The success is, is but the calls. You don't know in. whether they uh, use the service of the roofer. Do they the, pay if they get the job. No, yeah. they, they pay they pay for the calls. The calls are the success. Oh, yeah. okay. It's Not their job to close them, and that's why if, I mean to go to go really big. That's why I was talking about um, like the centralized sales training and processes mm. to build out a dream team, get somebody like a Cardone on the board that can work with these that companies. What's that? <laughs> that makes his name from that. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 the wolf, the wolf on. The wolf. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, no. Cardone. I got an email from the wolf today, but anyway, I'll think about that tonight. Okay, uh, like a Cardone, a Cardone or the wolf or whoever, but to get to get these guys um, <clears throat> working the leads in the correct manner, and so that customer and that front end revenue that comes in uh, translates into a lot more back end revenue. Yeah, I think you. I think through this process, you can get financials from these owners, um, and be part of an equity play. Um, yeah. As well, I think this is your entry point into uh, the ten of these in the Chicago area because Chicago's so big, Adam. Yeah. You could you just spread it out east, west, north, and yeah. south. Yeah. And that's a plan. No, no, it's a plan. I'm just I'm just emphasizing that as a is a is a point of, of this is taking it to the next level. This is viable for. The data I have suggests this is viable for every city in the United States with a population over 150,000. So that's between 100 and 200 cities. Where there is roofs, there are money, yeah. Well, roofs, HVAC, plumbing, plumbing is another one. A lot of HVAC contractors do plumbing as well. With, with, the, with, the, with your revenue model, are you just collecting a fee as soon as that phone call goes through to that? No, 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 you prepay in blocks of calls. That's fine, but that, that obviously comes off their credit, right? So in terms yeah. of one thing of revenue recognition, you're, you've already you've provided that service once the phone call's gone through to them. Then for you, it's like not your problem. But I yeah. know you want to do sales training to help them close a deal, yeah. but have you created a financial incentive for you to provide those guys with sales training? Yeah, because they buy more calls, the more the more leads they close, and the more they expand. But the do better they do, we do. So you, you're only going to take a one tier sort of slice just, just on the call, not if you close the deal, we're going to take another slice or something like that? Or? Well, 
okay. meats versus deals, you know? Yeah, like, okay, the plan is, okay, one slice at first on the front end, and then when they're on board um, to do revenue sharing and equity models, so it's it's more than even the deal, it's all the other deals that they're closing, you know, through through other pipelines. That's what the big money is. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And I mean, the other, I don't want to say easy, but the other option and add on is to then start having some kind of service where the people who are under our umbrella um, they can start maybe hooking them up with some other contracts or, you know, acting as their winning them contracts and that kind of thing, taking a slice of the contract. Do you think that's viable? I mean, yeah. Yeah. You don't know until you ask. Yeah. Test it. Yeah. So that's. He could have, you know, several different. Um, Streams of revenue. Basically, all these little training businesses. Yeah, exactly. But um, I mean, some of them are not. Some of them are eighty locations, a hundred locations, and you get those down. <coughs> one deal, the call is coming into one place, and that's you know three hundred k a month in recurring revenue right there. How are you going to spread the word about your? I'm loving this. I'm asking so many questions. How are you going to spread the word about your? Your website and your number is it TV newspapers? Because it's gonna be huge. Yeah, to get to get the calls coming in. Yeah, yeah, that's the SEO, PPC, right? That's the digital so marketing. So just for the digital age, you're not gonna get on television or whatever. Yeah, that's um, cost a bomb, right? The, yeah, that that would. I mean, oh, yeah. So these guys who are basically my partners, they'll do some media buys on vacant radio. Slots, but a lot of it is Facebook and Google. I mean, you can do a lot of this just on Google organic SEO. What's up, Graham? Yeah, so um, I've been a user of this type of service. Yeah. And uh, then it sort of it phased out. Unfortunately, we, when we first started getting into the property buying, we used uh, services like this. And what were the leads? Yeah, the leads were they saw it was. Uh, businesses that would generate it online, you know, if you want to sell your house quickly, fill this form in or contact us here. Yeah. And what we done is we bought we we bought a subscription for a sort of monthly basis. Yeah. And it started small, so we would buy it for uh, you know, every DD postcode. So it was done by geography. But then the volume was good, so we ended up buying everything for Scotland. So any Anybody filling I in? I.e. the slum lord of Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, so we bought it. So that's the way it went. Yeah. And the calls coming in were great. Yeah. Then, it probably, but we had to close the deal. We had to go right. and do the deal. But that was excellent. Then what happened was, after a few months, unfortunately, it sort of woke, somebody must have looked for us. There was a lot of calls waiting. Then what they wanted to do was, they then done the next step, actually done the closing, and tried to charge me a fee for the deal. So they were like, you know, so it was more lucrative for them to do the close with the, with the, the, the person inquiring as to sell the property. So it became more expensive for me uh, yeah. to get it because the calls, the calls then got filtered to them and they started, so their fees went up and uh, we won't get the volume of calls. Yeah, we, we, don't pl we don't plan on doing that. And this, I mean, as you know, this is a much shorter sales cycle. Yeah. This is like a, you know, yeah, yeah. day long as yes, opposed to, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a great model. Are you saying that when you're saying we don't plan doing that, doesn't mean that's your intention not to do it? No, you're, it's no, 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 it's not like I'm going to fire people. He's faithful to his girlfriend, too. That's <laughs> my intention, she's watching, yeah. I, I, see no, <laughs> I, I see no incentive at this point for us to do that. At I mean, this point. <laughs> but that's three operating. months from now, when he finds a girl with bigger tits, <laughs> you, know, he, you know, he might. Yeah. Well, um, because... <laughs> <laughs> and because, this is Chris, Merry Christmas. Because, <laughs> because the other thing is, they had to, I believe, um, be comfortable with you for a while to know that once they close it, since they have no business, that you can get yeah. it done. Yeah. yeah. The and truth so. of the matter is, they, they got uncomfortable with him, probably. <laughs> no, and if, if you know him four or five months, you can't help but not like him, not, not like him, you know? That's good. This is a good model. You have a question? Or are you just stretching again? <laughs> almost do the Uber model after where that app could handle the billing for them, the back end. Either way, you get paid. Oh well, well we have. I mean, a, a, like a dashboard for them where they can see all their calls. They can hear the recording, see all the notes that they made, and basically. They can quantify their own ROI with, with our services, but you're saying... The end customer is getting 
feel through your platform. The, the mm -hmm. end, you mean the, the contractor? The, no, the, the buyer, buyer, buyer of the services. services. Well, then we're their fucking accounting department. Right. Yeah, and you take I a mean, piece of the... Yeah, so, so it's more of like just a straight management where we do it all? You mean? Then you're taking just leave them business. fixing roofs, man. You do everything else. And the, and the yeah. back end... And then, and then, literally, you buy, the, you buy everything. Or right. you take so everything and you subcontract the, the other people. Right. And then so you generate the lead and you... Turn them off. Yeah. I, think, um, I think the piece we talked about is really... Pretty much started with something that you could experiment with. And yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. you're right. You could take it yeah. to the next couple of levels. Yeah, I think that's yeah. that would be the next step. And then you know, then you have some because uh, they need it. They need, they need it bad. Because these guys, these guys also have a patch over their eyes. <laughs> they got and, two, and they're missing, <laughs> and they're missing three teeth. Same thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they're bad with paperwork. They are. Well, no, we're going paperless. I thought. I mean, other than Scotland, other than Scotland, I they need, mean, and then I'll get, I'll get Omar on board and everything. Yeah, I mean the. Um, so, uh, I know that the downside of this is the barrier to entry. And what do you make uh, of the exit? I mean, how can I exit from this? Is it just well, straight? Who's likely to buy this? Let's say you get, you're now a uh, hundred million or five hundred million or whatever. Home advisor. I mean, home, 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 advi home advisor. Another like how, the, how big is home advisor? Well, they just bought Angie's List for two hundred million. Okay, um, so they're, they're I mean they're together. under Barry Dillon. That's all they paid for Angie's List. And, and probably yeah, that's all they paid. And so they they would buy it. I mean, I think they, so they would basically buy the contract. We lock these guys down and then. They would buy the contracts, and then the entire reason these guys were with us in the first place was to get away from Home Advisor, and so they would just be, I guess, right back where they started. <laughs> right, you see what I'm saying? And then I guess I could do it again. <laughs> did you show them this video three years later? <laughs> yeah. so. But I mean, uh, Home Advisor, or who else would buy it? Teleperformance, yeah. or you know, some somebody like that. Or data because they could they could increase whatever they're doing already on call centers and stuff. They can bolt on that next HVAC level. Company? Of well, yeah, I mean, uh, no, an HVAC company wouldn't buy it because they get all these other competitors. But maybe that's right. I mean, to roll them up. they're not also not large enough. Ninety five percent of the HVAC, train, HVAC train. businesses do under a million dollars a year. Yeah, that's a big kind of train. You mean a, oh, you mean a manufacturer? Oh, a manufacturer. Why would the manufacturer? Yeah, I mean the manufacturers. There's Train. I think Johnson and Johnson. Though they're large conglomerates <coughs> in the HVAC industry. A management buyout. What's that? A management buyout. So your your well, own. Well, I am management, management of who? Your your own management team. Sell it to your oh, oh, sell it to the employees. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, that's the next. We haven't got there, I but mean, normally the, the the deals that are the the, the most beneficial to the, the you are when you sell to your employees. You sell your employees because the employees, you, you help them arrange the financing. They're so thankful uh, that they pay you know 50% premium to what the normal EBITDA would be. So if the, the normal EBITDA is 12, then you sell the employees for 18 easy. Yeah, I mean, 18 easy. I like contra because of. Is that good? Yet? You're saying that's good? Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. These the little poor guys, you know, the, 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 you're, then they really are owning the company. Because you're selling it to them, and then it's up to them to sell, you know, the next exit. <laughs> I mean, for stuff like this, um, to hire employees, I really like more contracting stuff for, for this yeah. type of deal. Um, just because, I mean, you can get cheaper labor using a place like Upwork or whatever. And there's no reason to just give somebody a straight salary when there are a billion people that can do what I need them to do. Yeah. And so I, I don't... I don't see how that would be an option, but it would be more, I think, to an industry player, basically, um, like a train or a, something like that, or a home advisor. I kind of like that idea, because I can just keep recycling it. I can make $200 million every time, because the contractors will hate the shit again, right? And then I'll just start another business, sell them again, and then build them up, and then eventually I'll run out, but yeah. Um, and so, I mean, the, the basic question here is the exit, but... Right now, it's just a good. Are we on YouTube, by the way? Yeah. No, YouTube? not YouTube. This is this is being filmed, but it's not on YouTube. It's oh. not going directly. I was going to tell them from a Jew on Christmas. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'll do it later. Wait a minute. Oh, it's on your 
don't, we don't, we don't discriminate here. <laughs> we don't discriminate. You gotta say shit shitty to the Muslims too. Then, you know, fuck, uh, fuck Muslims too. You know? uh, yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Comments? But this is, I mean, it's e this is easily seen that it's it's a good deal. I right. mean, but remember I told you it's either hot or it's not, right? Well, I mean, you should be able to filter through. We're only halfway through here, this, this hardcore seminar, but there's a lot of different ways to make money. That's for sure. This is an angle that we can apply to, to a lot of things. And, the, uh, and we, we get stuck in the mud of our own thought process and our own, con our own bits and pieces of conventional wisdom. And just imagine, you know, generation after generation, I mean, uh, by the time you popped out, I mean, uh, there was probably very little original, uh, a new thought, uh, and, and that's why we get stuck. And that's also my, my beef with uh, the business school. There's, a, there's very little uh, new stuff being taught at the business school. And the, in, in the business schools, you wouldn't take a case through to the, uh, its fruition, like we're talking about here, you know, we thought we're gonna start talking about some big cases that have happened that are studied in business schools. But these cases, I mean, we're taking them, you know how they started, you know how they've gotten in trouble, how you're gonna build them, and uh, uh, hopefully how you're gonna exit. Because that's what it's really about, you know. Uh, start, build, sell, start again. Uh, and uh, because that's what, you know, where uh, generational wealth is. Although, you know, we've got man, plenty of people that have come through, they wanna build a legacy of business because they wanna leave it to their kids or whatever. And that's, that's still possible. You just uh, you know you just continue to build until you fall dead in your uh, over your uh, laptop, or, or <laughs> fall into your uh, handheld device or whatever wherever you die now. But um, yeah, any questions? Uh, we've gone through. I, I know we've skipped you, Bill. Just be quiet. It's all okay. Anybody else uh, that we we missed on one of their individual private deals? Okay, now. When we come back, not today, because it's uh, Sally tells me it's Christmas, okay? And uh, even though it's, it's not it's not Hanukkah anymore, is it? No, Hanukkah's it's over. Hanukkah's over. Hanukkah's over, okay. Over. And Ramadan's over. So, but it's um, we're we're gonna stop early because we're gonna meet for presents. I think at five thirty, opening presents five thirty, and then dinner early. Yeah, and dress. We're gonna redress for dinner. We're dressing for dinner. I'm not tuxedo, but I mean suit again, or tie or coat. Um, but when we come back, now there's about 12 or 14 business cases. Does everybody have 10, 12, 14 business cases? I mean, business cases mean either Harvard or Stanford or, and I know that a couple of them have already been covered. But I mean, does everybody have those ca cases? Were we now? supposed to get everybody's? Every year, you're supposed to be getting everybody else's business cases. Positive. No, we, 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 positive. We got everybody yeah, else's. We don't. We get the hard one. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. So how many cases do you have? No, we, we have, have uh, just business. everybody's cases. Uh, we have everybody's cases. Not, but not the business school one. Like no. Jason, do you have mine on your thing? We have it. No, or, no, we, we have it. It's like I have friends. Another but I don't Yeah, have we, we get it. It's all free. It's all free. It's all free. We need to give. The way Kim explained there's six or eight names. I went to Kim yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, 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 stop, Bill. I went to Kim with my file and said, we don't have the business cases Dan keeps referencing. Then she went and copied, and she said every business case is buried under every person's name. Correct. Right. But we don't have every person. Right. Yeah. But she said that the Harvard cases are all buried under people's them. names as well. Yeah, yeah. Just but seven. every person doesn't have a Harvard case. Right. Oh, Each right. group. Okay. okay. I got it. Merry Christmas. Okay. Okay. Go fuck yourself, YouTube. Thank you. <laughs>